my sexy, sassy, saucy, limitless HBICs. How you doing on this lovely morning, afternoon, or evening? Uh, I'm recording multiple videos. So you're going to see this outfit on repeat. Okay. Um, I am answering the June 15th live streams leftover super chats. Um, this is going to be a, a shorter video than normal for me because I've already recorded some. This question is out of order, but I thought it would be good for its own video um, because I think it's a question that people... I didn't want it to get sandwiched in with other super chats. It's important because I think people still struggle with this concept. So I'm going to ask, this is from, well, wait a minute, Kim, I'm getting ahead of things. If you need help figuring out what's going on between you and your manifestation, please feel, please feel free to email me at manifestingwithkimberly at gmail.com. All of my coaching options are in the Dropbox below. They're in the screens. It just went by. I have a channel membership where I go live with all my channel members every single Tuesday. I don't know when this video is going up. I think this video is going up today. So never mind. I also have TikTok and Instagram. I would love for you to join me everywhere. I would love for you to subscribe here. Come on, man. Hook a bitch up. It's free. Could you also hook me up with a like? That'd be very, very nice of you. Thank you. All right, let's jump in. This was from Lauren C. And her question is, how do I know? Or what's a good way to, ga to gauge? Gouge. To gauge if and when I'm giving SP too much free will. I struggle with this concept a lot. This is why I think this video, you know, needed to be, or this question needed to be in its own video because I think people still do struggle with free will. So first, let's, let's discuss the topic of free will. I know that some of you who are just so good-hearted, you're good-hearted, and you don't like the idea that you're messing with somebody else's free will. I get it, you sweet little thing, you. I get it. But you're not. You're not. You're not screwing with anybody's free will. Stop that tomfoolery thinking, because it's not true. There are multiple realities multiple realities multiple realities there are infinite versions of ourselves right and there are infinite versions of your specific person there are infinite states that we can embody your state is who you are being, who you are identifying yourself as. Essentially, it's you're in a new reality with each state, okay? Because there are multiple realities and multiple versions of your specific person, you're not screwing with their free will. You're choosing what specific person you want to be with. There are infinite versions. You're just choosing a specific person you're just choosing you're just saying yep that's the one i want i don't want this shithead in my current 3d reality i do not want that person anymore because they are not showing up the way i like i'm choosing this one okay in order to select that person we have to change to get the change we have to become right these new versions this is why I talk about states all the damn time. Because you do get to just choose who you want to be. Yes, it is that simple. Yes, it is. And anybody telling you differently is stuck in a state, a shit state of their own. Because until you experience it for yourself, you don't get to talk about it until you've shifted. And I mean that from love. But if there's any coach who's telling you it's not that easy to shift your state, you, my friend, have not shifted. You have not. And you're feeling really stuck in your state. And I'm sorry. Let me help you. But I'm being serious. It is a choice. It is a choice. And you might not instantly feel 100% on top of the world. But the more time you're selecting this new version of yourself the better you're going to feel and the quicker the 3D changes. Because when we decide we are the version of ourselves who has what we want, regardless of 3D circumstances, your 3D collapses. The reality collapses. You might not look at it and see a collapsing reality. 
you will just notice that you begin to feel differently, think differently, perceive differently, and people are treating you differently, including specific person, okay? When we step into a new state that's you selecting the new SP or the preferred version of specific person, you're not hindering their free will. You're not. There is no free will. Our free will kind of ends after we've decided what we want to experience. It ends there. From that point on, when we're experiencing the bridge of incidents or the collapsing reality as we shift into the new, that's our subconscious or our universe or your I amness handling that. Okay, you could, you can think. Uh, <laughs> I know there's always a chastising if we dare to call our subconscious universe or whatnot. People have a problem with that because you, you are your own universe. Yeah, some people like to utilize their own damn terminology and that's okay over here. I don't give a fuck what you call, what's going on in your mind. I don't care. Okay, call it subconscious. Call it universe. Call it Jesus. I don't care. Or Jesus. I don't care. It doesn't matter. As long as you know you're choosing to be a specific person yourself, meaning you're choosing to be in this moment when we're questioning things. And I'm just, you know, listen, this was in June. You're not that person anymore, but you're choosing to be the person that doesn't think that they know what they're doing when it comes to the free will and their specific person. You're choosing to be that version of yourself. And you're probably without purposely realizing you're choosing to be the version of you that doesn't have their specific person. But you do get to say no. I am a woman or a man who knows she's chosen. She's worthy and deserving of a loving, fulfilling, committed relationship. And I'm worthy. And just, that's how I threw myself in there. I am worthy of being cherished, loved, and adored by the person of my choice. I am allowed to choose. I am allowed to experience that. And I get to give all of that zhuzhy, sexy, sassy, saucy feelings to myself right now. I get to be happy and determined to get what I fucking want right now. I get to do that right now. Right now, I get to be in a good mood thinking, I know whatever I want is coming to me. I get to do that right now. I get to feel that great about it right now. That is what is shifting you into the more beneficial state. Not only are your thoughts going to align with that new state, because your thoughts are always a product of the state you're in, okay? Not only are the thoughts going to line up, okay? Meaning you're not going to worry about if you're giving away too much damn free will, okay? You're not going to worry about it because you're going to be in the state of knowing you're a powerful ass manifester and you get what you want. Nothing to worry about. We ain't got to worry about the 3D. It has to reflect the state I'm in because embodying a state is essentially embodying your new reality, Okay, how to know if you're giving away too much free will to your specific person? Real simple. Are you looking at them like they are doing something deliberately to you, like deliberately not choosing you? Are you looking at that 3D and saying, I'm having a circumstance that I don't like. I'm not getting what I want. SP is not showing up the way I would prefer. You're giving them too much free will. Yeah, you're looking at them as someone with choice. Okay, no, it is what version of them are you selection, uh, selecting? Most of us manifesting a specific person tend to get so lost and wrapped up with the current 3D version that we keep them stuck. We keep them stuck because all we do is stare at the circumstances. We're keeping them there. This is why we say fuck the 3D. Fuck the 3D doesn't mean ignore it until you've looked at it and said, okay, this is how my life looks right now out here. And I don't fucking like it. I don't like it. I don't want to experience this anymore. This is what I do want. So I'm not going to be this version of them anymore. Not going to. Not going to do it. I'm not going to be that person anymore. You do. You have that choice. You have the choice. So anytime we're looking at our 3D, and, and seeing circumstances as never going to get better. We don't think it's going to change. We don't see how SP is ever going to change. We're giving away free will. 
where we're giving it out on a free damn platter. That's what we're doing. You see what I'm saying? If we're looking at them as deliberately treating us like garb garbage, I'm going to say garb shit, talk shit, you know you're not in a more pleasurable state. You know you're not. Especially if we're getting triggered and upset. We're, we're still in a place of seeing these as you know, bigger circumstances. Choice. It's all about your own choice. Step into the new state and everything else will change. For real, for real. All right? And on that note, I'll see you all tomorrow. It should be your number one thought. Who am I being today? It should. It should be your top focus. Who am I being? Okay? See you all tomorrow.